In this video, I'm gonna take you through 17 items that have been able to sell on eBay right now for over $50. I'm saying that because we've had a massive weekend of eBay sales. Uh, we've ended up being able to sell $2,576 over the last three and a half days. Fees were only 13.5%, so we weren't running a sale or any promotion. We were just listing up really good quality items and getting fast sell through rates on all the items that you're gonna see in this video. So all up, there were 47 sales this weekend and we had an average sale price of $54.81. Rather than taking you through all 47 items in this video, I wanna take you through the good stuff only. So we're gonna go from number 17, and I'm gonna show you all 17 items that sold for over $50. But stick around for number one though, because that is the biggest sale that we have ever had on eBay. All right, the first few that we've got have come in right on that $50 number. Um, the first one that we've got here is a big DVD bundle, Pokemon. This is just a real mix of different Pokemon DVDs that we just thought we'd just do as a big bundle lot. We only paid a dollar a piece for these. Uh, in total, two, four, six, eight, nine of them would have been nine dollars as a cost of good. Uh, they've gone on to sell for fifty dollars. So anything Pokemon is always great, but rather than trying to sell these off individually and you know get ten to fifteen dollars a piece, you've got to pay postage every single time you do that. Where this time around, we'll be able to get that into either a medium satchel or probably, I reckon nine, probably a small box, Courtney. Yeah. Um, probably a small box of that. But it's not going to cost us any more than maybe 10 to $15 in post. Yeah. As opposed to $4.50 every single time. So bundling up DVDs, even if they aren't complete show TVs, um, that's a good way to go about it. The other one as well was Harry Potter. Uh, Harry Potter sold for $50 as well, which is this right here. So this was the complete, I've, sold, I've found this so many times out in thrift stores. Again, you're talking a dollar a piece for these uh, as a cost of good, and there's eight different movies in there. Um, so that'll go, again, very similar to the Pokemon. Uh, it'll go into a box, 10 to $15 in shipping, $50 sale price for a $9 purchase price. What have uh, you got there, Courtney? We got uh, True Blood. This is actually one to seven minus season five. Do you know it says five, though, I think, in the title? <laughs> so I think what we do with this scenario, guys, because I think the title did say, oh, I'll have to put the screen grab up. I'm pretty sure when I was checking, we're missing five, but we marketed as five. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're either going to buy it off another person on eBay yeah. and have it shipped to that, that new person's address. Yeah. Or if anybody watching, maybe in their inventory, mm. has a spare season five for us. I feel like, yeah, it's very common to find as well. It'd be an easy find. Yeah. But if you were to contact the buyer and say, sorry, we don't have season five, then we might lose the sale. Yeah, but we'll just buy it and send it to them directly. I think so. Yeah. It'd be a nice way to make sure the sale gets fulfilled rather than trying to reduce the price or cancel it. Yeah. We'll get in touch and say, hey, I don't know if you're aware, but the title said season five. Yeah. And we'll fulfill it. Yeah, but that went for 49 Another $50 sale. And then this was our last DVD sale. Grand Designs, brand new and sealed, one, two, five, complete. Um, if you have the full season of this, it goes for like a couple of hundred dollars, so keep an eye out for that. That will go into a small satchel, hey? Will. So yeah. That's a big sale. sale. That was 55. Brand new and sealed helped. Yeah. But yeah, four DVD sales, guys. So, you know, $200 in DVDs when you've got Harry Potter and Pokemon, bit of True Blood, bit of Grand Designs. You find this stuff in thrift stores for a dollar or $2 a piece. I know they are going up at the moment in the thrift stores. We're finding it harder to find. Mm. Um, but, you know, that's $200 worth of DVD sales right there, which is unreal. Yeah. Now, another thing that I love to sell in this little eBay store of ours is old school electronics. And I used to play... Do you used to play the PSP? No. You didn't have one? No. Because so I, I loved playing these things. And just recently, we were able to get our hands on a lot of these. Uh, we actually got three in a recent private pick. So there's another one tucked in there. Um, this one though, it's not working. We mm. can't get it to work and we don't have a charger for the PSP. So we've just gone ahead and we've marketed it as not working. And these old school pieces of technology are so sought after and there's so many more clever people out there than you and me mm. um, that they can go on to fix them and get them working. So we were still able to source it for a pretty cheap price. Can't exactly remember how much we paid off uh, Selwyn. I think it might've been only five or $10 but we got a $55 sale price on something that we advertised as not working. So there you go, little piece of electronic. These are all gonna go for a much more higher price than that. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that one there because it wasn't working and it was still a pretty good average sale price. All right, so the next one is these action figures. We have a bulk amount of these, a lot of WWE, is that what they are? Sure. 
Um, WWE, Courtney. And I, I couldn't tell you. Rey Mysterio? No. Eddie Guerrero? Literal gibberish to me. Oh, wow. Um, but we, they all go for roughly like $20 to $25 each. And we've had them for about a year now. So a bit of a slow sell through rate. But these three actually got brought as a bundle from one, one buyer. So $58 for all three. $58. A bucks. small satchel. Yeah, that'll go into a small satchel. We'll just put a bit of bubble wrap around those. Yeah. Um, but we've got so many that have sold over the last year. Then we're down to this last little, well, there's still probably 20 or 30 to sell. Yeah. And then, oh, Courtney wouldn't know it, but there's some actual classic characters in here. Ones that would sell well. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we've got a bundle. And bundle sales are good sales because, again, like the DVDs. One postage. One postage. Yeah. Uh, we did a private peek a couple of weeks back and we bought all of these as well. Now, action figures are a really good category to focus on if you're a, a new budding eBay seller. Um, we took a bit of a stab in the dark and we've got a few down here, Courtney, if you want to put the camera over it. We've got Morbius here. We've got uh, some Battlestar Galactica. They're all busts, which are basically just little statues. Um, there's this one up here as well, Marvel Universe Danger. Um, a little bit annoying. That one's actually worth $200, that one there, John Connor. John Connor T2. But anyway, we bought all of these in a big bulk lot, and I think we got, was it 60? Yeah. 60 bucks for this one, which was the Spider-Man 3 Sandman bust. Um, so I was quite happy with that. $60, we're going to put this into a box for maybe $15 worth of shipping uh, when Courtney ships it off this afternoon. Courtney just went to Bunnings. We get all of our boxes for free from Bunnings, so this one won't suit, but... Hopefully there's a box in there that'll work for this. I might have to go out a bit later and find some more boxes, but mm. action figures sell really, really well. And there's some really good collectors out there that will pick up this stuff. Um, this one might have even been, yeah, look at this. Limited edition. So this was number 1476 of 5,000 diamond select toys. So those are the sorts of things that led me to want to go ahead with the purchase initially for the deal, um, because a lot of them are like that. Like that one there. That one there is number 861 of two and a half thousand. Mm. So it just, just means that collectors out there are going to probably want to go, oh, I should probably grab that if they're into Marvel, for instance. But anyway, 60 mm. bucks on that. Sandman bust. A lot of these have been selling. So talk about sell through rate. We only bought them a few weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, another one out the door. Okay. All right. So we got 25 tubs of shoes. 250 shoes, I reckon we're trying to sell. Yeah. And we sold these ones here, these classic Nike Air Dad sneakers. <laughs> the Air Dad edition. <laughs> That's what they're called, surely. The, we've got the Monarchs. Um, and they're a US 12, so that's always a thing to keep an eye out for. The bigger, bigger the shoe, they sell faster. Mm. Um, I mean, Matt could have done a good job of like cleaning these up before you listed them. Yes. If you want to sell them faster, how long do you reckon we've had these? Oh, I've had them a little while. Yeah. I think I've had them for a bit. And look at the soles. Yeah, I would probably that's, give them a clean. That's bad by me. Oh. Clean your shoes, guys. Put them in the washing machine, low spin, low temperature. I just didn't do it. And I probably could be a bit better at doing that. I could probably clean and prep my shoes a little bit more, but four years selling shoes on eBay, I do get lazy from time to time, but these shoes did sell for $65. So yeah. that was pretty cool to see. Now, Courtney started with last Thursday, and then I jumped back into it again on Saturday, culling these. We're not culling because we're not getting rid of them. We're just rearranging what we're doing with our video games. And as you'll see, this row here of PlayStation 3 and this row of PlayStation 2 has been whittled down a whole lot more than what this is looking like. Your Xbox, your Nintendo Wii, and all of these video games and PSPs down below. Very cluttered, very organized. And the reason is because we've been going through them like we did with all of our other inventory in this room. This is the last category that we hadn't done. We are culling anything that's less than $15 and putting it to the side and we're creating bulk listings. So all of these are bulk listings per the console category and we're selling them off for like 3 or $4 a piece because again, a bit like the, um, the DVDs that we were talking about earlier, we just much rather sell in a big bulk lot with less postage than doing them individually. This one here was the sale that we came through. Now, Courtney fixed this up on Thursday. So all of these games had either not been listed in the sense that they were listed for so long that we didn't do anything about it and then they were removed by eBay, which happens. So yeah. you've got to be aware of that. Yeah. Um, or they were $15 or less and they were still active and getting no activity. Yeah. So we pulled them off this shelf. We created a group, a bulk listing of 17 PlayStation 3 games and we got a $70 sale price on the very same day. Yeah. 
and that's cheap. That's, you're probably thinking, yeah, but that's, you're not making any money. Like we would have paid a couple of bucks each for these, but I would much rather just buy better with the $70 that we get from this yeah. and go again. So we're going to do that for the rest of these. We've got some Xbox games, we've got some Wii games. Courtney's going to work on it today. And we're going to try and turn this into this with good games only mm -hmm. and have a few more stacks of games that we can list up as big bulk deals because they sell for 70 bucks. And what I, what I will say with the games, when you're doing your bulk listings, you can probably get about four bucks a game mm. for a bulk price, like 17, four sevens, 28. That's, I think that's around three or four dollars, that sale. Yeah. But you could go four, depending on what you've got. You could even hide an, a slightly more expensive game in there. Yeah. And people will go through and go, oh, that's a $30 game. I'll just buy it all. Yeah. You know, sacrifice one game to get, get the sale done even quicker. Yeah. You probably don't need to do that, though, because that sell-through rate was like hours. Yeah. It's just something that we've started to do and I'm really enjoying it because we find so many video games now. Yeah. So it's much more about buying quality and leaving the crap yeah. and getting rid of the crap. Yeah. Another pair of shoes, Courtney. Another pair. Not dad shoes though. No, these are nice. But a pair of women's shoes. Nike uh, Vapor Max and gold. Yeah, the gold's um, nice. They're a size eight and a half. Eight which and a half. Would be like a good size for women's sell through eight. What are you? Nine? Nine and a half? Nine and a half, yeah. Um, but yeah, another pair. Seventy five for these. Yeah, that's a that's a decent price. You could actually probably those shoes in that condition probably get upwards of a hundred dollars. So, you know, sell through eight was the reason why we actually let these go for seventy five. Yeah. Because I've had them for a little bit. Yeah. Um, but to, the fact that we've been able to sell the dad's lawn mowing shoes. Yeah. And the, uh, and the Vapor Maxes for 65 and 75 tells you that shoes are a very good category. We probably average, I would say, probably 40 to $45 for shoe sales. Yeah. Every now and again, you'll get those come through for some even more money. We sold two other pairs of shoes this weekend, but they did fall below that $50 price point. Yeah. What a brand this one is. Now, for clothing, you know, we were talking about how much we've got in the, in the sense of our shoes over here. We've actually got that tub, and this is actually a book tub. Yeah. But we're overflowing with our single tub of clothes yeah. that we've uh, thrown on top of the books. But we've got this one sell, and this one was a really, really good brand, Kaha. Now, if you're in America watching this, you don't get what we get in Australia. We get so much more money. Really? Yeah. Oh. So when I was over in the States in July last year, August last year, I bought so much Carhartt. I love Carhartt. No one wears it. Well, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's really hard to get here in Australia. Yeah. But it's so common over there, it's like, I don't mm. know, it's like Nike or Adidas. Yeah. But to us, it's like, we just don't cool. get it. Yeah. Um, so for that reason, guess how much they sell? Well, you know. <laughs> you know, because we just worked it out. Yeah. $80. For two. 80 for two. So, you know, you're selling these plain Carhartt t-shirts in Australia for $40. Mm -hmm. Um, so the fact that we've had them both in the same size, again, a bit like everything else we've spoken about today, we thought we'd do a group listing and somebody bought them in the same size for $80 total. Yeah. Um, two t-shirts, that'll go into a small satchel. Uh, Carhartt, huge brand yeah. if you're in Australia. All right, the next one we have is this vintage Super Nintendo controller. Um, we paid $20 for this one and we got an $80 sale price. Anything Nintendo sells really well, whether it's a game or a console or controller, just because it vintage it's aspect. Yeah. yeah, just retro gaming. Um, do we list this as working or non-working? Uh, working. Yeah. Yep. This was fine. Yep. Nothing wrong with it. The cords are fine. That, yeah. That looks pretty damn good to me, and it was tested as fine. Um, be a box. Also, the joystick. It's firm. Sometimes you can get them with a super loose and no good. Yeah. Um, but this was fine. Nothing on the back as well. It's actually in really good condition. Yeah, well looked um, after. It is well looked after. So yeah. we'll put that into a box with a lot of bubble wrap. Yeah. I think it'll go for about 10 to $15 in post. Yeah. But, um, you know, 20 into 80, you're profiting from that every time. Yeah. All right. Now, here's a category that I have basically undenied over. I've bought in the past, and I think ever since you've, you've started, Courtney. Yeah. We have bought so many more books than I ever did in the year or two prior to that. Yeah. But books do sell well. The right but, books do sell. Yeah, they sell really well. And this one was an awesome bundle that I was able to pick up off Facebook Marketplace. This is the Underbelly series, and we've actually got every single book in the series here. Uh, and off Rob, one of the great resellers here locally on the Gold Coast, uh, Rob came down to the flea market he sells a lot of media, but he brought along all of his other bits and pieces a couple of weeks ago, and I spied these. He Actually, I didn't spy these. Rob said to me, he goes, Matt, that's probably the most valuable thing that I've got at the fleet. 
Um, and I said, well, how much do you want for them? And then he said, look, for you, he goes, I think I paid 10 or $15. I think it was like a dollar a book, um, which is a very common sort of a thrift store price for books. And often people can get them for free as well because a lot of people are trying to discard their books that they've got in their, in their shelves uh, at home. So this series Rob gave to me for $15 and we sold it for $90, mm. which is just fantastic. And the reason why it sold for that full price is because it was a complete set. It's every single book. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a burden to ship off. Yeah. No doubt about it because it is, it is quite heavy. Yeah. It's going to need a big box to fill it in. It's going to need a really strong and sturdy box. Big book bundles like this, I pretty much always put them into a box, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think books are a great category if you're selling them in bulk lots like this. Um, every now and again, like if you have a look here, like we are selling books. There, is, there they all are there. Like there's some, you, you've actually bought, you've actually initially bought a lot of those, Courtney. Yeah, or they were like personal ones that I had. But the, this one always sells well in the like bundle of three that he has. Robert Kiyosaki. Yeah. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yeah. Um, so like you were saying finance books would do really finance well. Finance books. Well, we bought a stock one not long ago and it sold in a day. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, health and wellness? Yeah, some of them. Some of them? Yeah. But um, yeah, book bundles. Go and find that one. All right, next one up is a couple of different consoles that have been selling for us. Um, this one here sold for 120 or It might have been with some, I think coupon got activated and it made it like $118.75. Might have slightly undersold this one. I don't know. I haven't sold an original Xbox console in quite a long time. I had a look on the comps on eBay, and the reason I made it 130, I think, initially, is because we didn't have a controller. It's working. I just didn't have a controller. It was quite busted up when we got the, uh, when we got the initial controller for it, so I just sold it as a console plus its cables. Um, but, I mean, when you find these sorts of things, these are a really good one to find on Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm. I found these on Marketplace with a bunch of crappy games, and then there might be some really good games on Marketplace out of that lot that you can sell individually, and they go into the shelf. But then these here you can sell off as a bundle. Um, so if I had some bad average Xbox original games, not that I think we do, mm -hmm. but if we did, a couple of those games we had on the shelf, we could actually add to this and make it a group listing. But in the end, I just listed it for what it is. I just said it's a console plus it's cables, and we got a sell-through rate in this, I think it was like a week. Yeah. It, it sold really fast. Yeah. Um, we got 118 bucks. So consoles, video games, as you've seen with a lot of these items today, it does all kind of center around that sort of thing. So consoles are a good one. Uh, I won't hold on to uh, the conversation too long around this because it's very much the same as the Xbox. This is just a PS3 uh, console bundle, but we had two controllers. Yeah. Um, we got 120 bucks. So again, anything old school console related items like this, always gonna be over $100 average sale price. Um, we picked a, these consoles up for about $25. I like to try and purchase for $25 to $50 odd dollars, depending on how many games I've got with the consoles, uh, because they do generally sell between $100, $150 odd dollars. And if you're paying no more than 50 after shipping and fees, you're generally gonna be very close to doubling your money. So buying them for 25 bucks each, significant profit selling them for 130. Um, we also sold this as well, which was what I alluded to earlier in the video. It was another of the three PlayStation portables, um, but this one was a working PlayStation portable. Unfortunately, no uh, cables, mm. um, charging cables. But uh, this one here was completely fine. It's still powered up and working, um, and we got $130 worth of the sale price. So these are a really, really good thing to purchase. Mm. Just very hard to find. Check it out, Courtney. Pokemon card. We've got the Umbrian Moon. Mm -hmm. It's a secret rare. This Pokemon card is worth a hell of a lot of money. If it's graded, it can be worth up to 1500 bucks if it's a PSA 10. Yeah. Now, Selwyn brought this over to the garage a couple of weeks back, and he was very nervous to ultimately ship it out to a buyer. So he said to me, do you want to do, well, I said to him, do you want to do consignment? Rather than me purchasing off him for a few hundred bucks, I said, let's try and sell it, and then we'll split the profit 50-50. Um, I had, I'll put a little screen grab up of the attention around this card. Talk about... Talk about dollars that can come from Pokemon cards. We had 1,700 views. I think we had about 35 watches from yeah. memory. A wow. lot of attention because this has only been up for two weeks. Uh, and it ended up selling on a best offer to Japan uh, for $690. So consignment with Selwyn, I think we're going to make $280 odd each because you've got to take off fees, postage, and you've got to take off GST. Mm. And then we split the profit 
but a $690 Pokemon card. Wow. You know, if you've got kids or something like that, and they might have a bunch of Pokemon cards in their cupboard, you can have a look through, and there's a little number down the bottom right-hand corner of the card, just down there. And this one's a secret rare, where it says 215 out of 205, or whatever the number is. So because that number's bigger than the other number, it means that it's a secret rare. So, you know, just comping up, doing your research, working out what rare Pokemon cards are worth. This little piece of cardboard just sold for 700 bucks. So there you go, guys. We've got 17 items that are all selling on eBay getting posted out this afternoon for over $50. There are so many different categories that you can sell for great money on eBay, but I highly recommend after four years of doing it myself to focus on these categories. If you missed this video on the left-hand side, go and check it out. Appreciate you being here for this one. We'll see you soon.